Hey guys, this is John, and I'm playing Therian in the one minute pool on ICC. I forgot what time control I was playing for a second. One minute pool on ICC. This is Friday, and it's about 4.30 p.m. my time. Uh, I'll go knight g5, and I'll try to play, try to get my knight into f4. He's going to stop that. Uh, I guess I'll go here. He'll probably advance g4 and kick my knight back. Gain some space in the center. Rook e1. Uh, hope everyone's having a good Saturday. This video will be posted on. And is enjoying the weekend. Kind of want to sack on c5. That would be fun. All right, this is not the least bit sound, but I'm going to do it because it looks fun. I get two good center pawns. It seems a little difficult for him to handle, too. Maybe my pawns can eventually crunch him. My knight can come to e5 as well. Here I'm threatening d6, maybe. Okay, I'll go here. He's going to get his bishop there. Let's go, let's go this way with our king. I'm just not entirely sure what the best place for the king was there. Okay, let's go here, and then I want to play for b4. And then I'm going to get c5 in after he moves his bishop. This is looking pretty massive, at least our center. His dark square bishop is dangerous, though. So i got to watch out for that. He can go queen a5 now, maybe. He didn't do it. He still can go queen a5. Uh, okay, better protect our queen now. I knew I moved my king to the center for a reason. <laughs> See if he'll trade. Okay, let's go here. I'll try to get into the back Check. rank. Because now I have this move, 95. And where does this bishop go? Time warning. Oh, let's take that. Check. That knight gets kind of trapped now. Check. Yeah, this is gonna be rough for him. Just so long as I don't flag. Let's bring this back for protection. Yeah, I think I got him. He resigned. All right, I'm 2501, playing Nedwist now. Okay, Nedwist is a tough opponent that I've had trouble against because he's pretty darn fast. Let's just go into an end game this time. This is probably not the proper place for the bishop. Go back now. Then maybe a5, just to stop any b4 funny business. This knight looks good on this square. Now I'm threatening to take, actually. Uh, I can't do it yet, though. I really would like to take, if possible. Okay, now I can do... Mm, yeah, he's not letting me. Hmm, let's go here. Let's go here now, just to hold e4. I really wanted to do a rook takes d4 and knight takes b3 tactic when I saw that knight on c5. It just wasn't quite working out. He can't take on e4. Actually, he might have been able to take on e4, I'm not sure. Let's go here. This knight's coming to c5. This is great. Let's connect all these pawns together. Yeah, he's going to try to weaken my structure, but... Check. We get in here... Check. ...and start causing havoc. Hmm. Check. Yeah, he can take that. And then make us run all the way back to go take this pawn. Time more. Fortunately, I think our position is pretty good. I'm going to win c5 now. Let's just do this. Get these pawns rolling. Check. Uh, okay, let's go here. He can't go to c6 because I have this move. Check. 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 Let's see how Check. fast I can do this checkmate. Check. 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 Checkmate. All right, 25-22 after that game. Back in the pool. Nedwiss again. He's out for blood. He's out for revenge. Uh, let's go bishop h4. Puts his knight on c6. You're usually not supposed to do that. He plays by his own rules, though, this Nedwiss. Uh, okay, let's trade. And maybe just queen c2. I think I have a small edge here. I mean, d5 is kind of hard to defend for him. Let's take that. Where's his rook going to go? His rook's trapped. Also, I'm maybe threatening to take on g6 after taking his rook. Okay, let's take there. Go here. Yeah, and then I can take on g6 next. Position's coming apart at the seams for him. Let's go d5. More carnage. That's too many loose pieces, and he's down material. It's not going to work out. 
Mm. Okay, I'm okay with that. Check. Okay. 25-41 after that game. Back in the pool. Nedwis again. He's mad. He's very upset. <laughs> when they start deferring to these openings, you know you've got under their skin for some reason. I don't know why people do it. It's like, I don't know, it's kind of like a macho thing. Like, you beat me twice, so here I'm going to show that I can actually beat you with a completely junk opening. Doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. Okay, this is interesting now. I get a lot of play. Check. Okay, that's a queen. That's completely a queen. Let's just take that. He's losing his rook now. This bishop can't move for fear of losing material. So, I'll just take this. And he resigned. 25-58. Nedwiss again. I'll take it and still, I don't know. <laughs> still try to hold out of the pawn. Mm, let's go here. Not playing this extremely well. So I am getting pinned pretty quickly. He can go maybe queen a5, yeah. To be really careful now. Hmm. Found myself kind of bottled up. Knight b4 might be good now. Let's go here. I want to get out of this pin situation. But finally, I'm able to do that. Just gain some space. Threatening knight b5. I have some compensation for the exchange. This is still not a great position. But it's improving. Check. It's improving little by little. Mm. Okay, let's do this. I can push, right? Need to hold that pawn. Check. Time warning. Let's not let this rook get closer. Hmm. All right, I guess Check. I'm promoting. Check. I'm going and winning this pawn. Time-wise, I'm not doing too hot, though. Check. Okay, now I can, like, oscillate, though. Check. Check. All right, won that. Check. All right, got him on time. All right, 2574. Good run against Netwis. 82 moves I got off in that game. Yeah, the knights are so strong in bullet. This is another game that illustrates it. You know, like you can just jump around with knights. Like in this position right here, after I get my king to f3, I have everything safe. And his rook has no way to really disturb my king on the square. So we're in a time scramble. I think it was actually down a little bit of time when we entered this position. But it's just so easy for me to make moves with my knight and check him from various angles. It's hard to play for black. I know that from being in these situations before. And then don't go for the checkmate in these situations. Just go for the flag. You know, I didn't want to push my pawns like both to the seventh rank or, you know, somehow lose both my pawns when I have two seconds left on the clock and he has no pieces. It's really important to hold off on that and bullet. So, okay, let's see who's playing. I'm still in the pool right now. White Mamba and Nedwis are playing. Let's check out White Mamba. Played that player before, but I don't know who they are. Georgian flag? Yep. Yeah, this is the Kobe Bryant fan. For all you NBA followers out there. Ted Belinoff played this guy before. Alright. I was just watching the US Championship coverage. Very bizarre incident where uh, Wesley So was forfeited after only five or six moves. Because he was writing stuff on his score sheet. Um, not like chess moves, but apparently it's just like inspirational quotes, like trying to motivate himself, I guess. 
Uh, it's, it's unclear at this time, but that's against FIDE rules. You're, you can't have anything on your score sheet other than the actual moves that are in, have been played. And uh, he was forfeited because of that. So, okay, I'll take this and then put the rook on d4. I own the d file right now. This is kind of nice. Go here. I wonder if he can check, check. me on a5. He does. It's a little little risky to bring my uh, check. Check. I'll take that one. Check. I think this one's okay to take. Maybe I can win c4 if he's not careful. Yeah, I think I can take c4. Check. Hmm. Let's go here and just bully him with trades. Let's go here, bully him with another trade. And I'll push. I think my king is okay. Check. I mean, there's definitely some question marks around my king safety Tom. right now. C3. Oh, let's go here. Need to connect my pawns. Check. Hmm. Let's go here. If he takes c3, I can check trade queens. Now I can play queen c5, maybe. Check. All right, he resigned. 2576 after that game, back in the pool. Combinator and flycatcher. Hmm. Looks like white might emerge up a pawn out of this. Rook moves, take on f1. Don't see a way black can trap this knight. It's going to escape through e5 or g5. Most likely e5. Still though, black has the bishop pair. Decent chances to draw. Not now because there's bishop e6. <laughs> That's all she wrote. See if we can get Nedwis again. I managed to take some of his rating points. That was nice because I usually have a tough time against him. Okay, let's do this. This is not a good line for uh, Black. He's letting me take over the center. Unperturbed. Hmm, let's go here. I'll play e6 next move. And then after bishop g6, I thought he was going to go bishop g6, but okay, now I get my knight into e5. This is tremendous. I can take this guy. Give check. Him a check. His king is in serious jeopardy. Plays e5. He's just uh, losing on the spot to queen takes d5. I just want this pawn. That's all I want. I'll have to figure out a different way to attack it, though. Need to come at it from a different angle. Hmm, now I have this move. You know what I might just do here? I might just do this and then rook f rook e3. Checkmate. Oh, he walked right into checkmate. That was convenient. But I was gonna go rook e3, rook f3, and then try to bring my queen down to f7. Okay, back in the pool. You know it's amazing, like in making these videos, um, I've been playing every day. And prior to making these videos, I had been playing on ICC only sporadically. Um and I wasn't playing like all time controls and stuff, but it's just so interesting to like measure my personal um, ups and downs and just daily swings uh, in bullet, blitz, standard, everything. I really start to notice like how how I do when I'm feeling certain ways and like how, for instance, my sleep schedule affects things, how uh, my workload affects things, my diet, whether I'm going to the gym, all that stuff. It, it's really borne out. Uh, in my results and in my videos. So, I mean, there's some days that I just feel completely on and others there's just, you know, there's nothing really going on and uh, I'm just very lethargic and things like that. So, today I feel pretty good. I slept well, I went to the gym. I feel like I'm in a position to play good chess. Okay, let's take this and then go here. I want to get my other rook to c4. Now he has to give ground with his bishop. Mm, let's go here. I'll bring my queen into e4 and try to go queen f5. He can check me on d8 whenever he wants, but I'm so safe here. Let's do this. Check. Yeah, now he's going to move his bishop. Okay, let's go here. 
do this. He's going to go for some counterattack. He has to, pretty much. I can just take that, I think. Completely safe position. Time warning. You can go queen this other pawn, even. Check. Let's check Checkmate. Check mate. All right, 25.95. Back in the pool. Gained a surprising amount of points this session. I'll play two more games. This game and the next game. Or the next game and the game following, I should say. Tigrano is in. Okay, that should be fun. Maybe I'll get him. I've not seen him play for quite a while. By the way, I know this is the UAE flag. Uh, I had a standard game and someone asked me why I didn't click on my uh, opponent's flag when it was UAE, but I just knew it. You see? United Arab Emirates. <laughs> I'm that good, guys, at flags. Uh, no, the only reason I know the UAE flag is because that guy, NECF in schools, he uses that flag, even though he's not from the UAE as far as I know. So, Ned Wiss is playing. Well, if Tigrano is in, we'll, we'll get Tigrano, which is uh, Tigran Petrosian, um, the, the younger and still living Tigran Petrosian. <laughs> I wonder how many Tigran Petrosians there are in Armenia. There must be quite a few. Okay, I'm playing back soon. Scandinavian time. Let's see what he throws at us. Okay, he's playing a line where uh, white can go knight g3 and then f4. Okay, I gotta be careful in this line because they usually go f5, except he just dropped a piece en route to doing this. Check. And I can take that too. And I can castle quickly. I want to get my knight on c6 just to reinforce my bishop. But next I can castle without any trouble whatsoever. Yeah, this is not going to work. This is not enough material for him. Let's just go here. And then I'll play queen e5 next move. I'm willing to let him trade queens and like take on uh, c7 if he wants to do that. Um, okay, let's go king d7. I think my king is safe enough here. Let's go here. Hmm. Now I do this, I try to deflect his queen. Let's go d4. Hmm. Uh, I'll just go here. I really want to bully him with the queen trade. Check. Now I get to trade queens. This is a dream scenario, basically. I'm letting him take the exchange. I don't really want it anyways. Let's just go here. Check. Mm -hmm. Check. And I saved my pawn in the process too. Time. Oh, let's go here. It's a free pawn, but he didn't take it. And I'm completely winning. The Check. time situation is in my favor too. Let's do this. We can go for a queen trade. He's going to hide his king. Don't let him stalemate you. Check. Check. Checkmate. Okay, so 2604. The next game will be our last game. Back soon. Don't know that I've seen this guy before. He has a peak one minute rating of 2558, though, so I presume he's pretty good. And by the way, what I was alluding to earlier as far as um, how your individual performance in chess or anything really um, can differ from day to day, uh, there is a concept um, called biorhythms that basically says that uh, your daily peak performance uh, can oscillate like that and humans just have cycles that they run in. I don't know too much about it, but I've heard people talk about it before. So if you have any information or knowledge of biorhythms and how just our daily fluctuations as human beings affect us, that would be interesting to know. Um, I don't think it's pseudoscience, as far as I know. I think it's actual, it's rooted in uh, solid solid backing. It makes sense. I mean, humans are not machines, so we're going to have our ups and downs. And it stands to reason that a lot of times we just perform better on certain days. 
Okay, let's go e5 and see if he'll jump into the center with his knight. I'll go queen b3 and try to get him to commit to e6. He kind of has to play that. Because now he gets a somewhat passive position as far as I can tell. If he castles, I'm gonna I'm not gonna trade queens. I'm gonna go back here because I think his king is extremely weak. Check. Like the dark squares around the king, especially. Just really, really vulnerable. And if he allows me to go h5, this is this could be game over. I'm gonna try to work my way into the f6 square. Uh, let's take here. Because now I'm winning a pawn. I can plunk my knight on d4 as well. This is a great square for it. I'm gonna go f4 b4, expand, b5. I can defend my pawn just fine. I'll have to take a little bit of care on the dark squares. Let's go c6. I don't see any reason not to play this. And I can go here, bully him with the trade. He pretty much can't trade queens, I don't think. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to repeat once. And I'll go c7. Maybe I can get my knight into c6. That would be ideal. Just hide the king first. Let's go here. Yeah, now I'm getting it in there with tempo. Check. He loses his queen. Okay, let's guard our second rank. Take there. I'm gonna do something kind of radical. Time warning. I can do that. Check. Um, check. check. Yeah, and he lost on time. Okay, 2608 after that game. So let's take a look, tabulate. Whoa, that's huge. Let's tabulate the results of the session. Uh, so I played 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 games, and I went 10 and 0. So awesome session. Pumped our rating from 2491 to 2608. And let's take a look where we are on the best list. I'm hanging out number 7 on the best list. Wow, some good players up there. You've got... MVL sitting at number four, Black Horse 96, Moonlight Wizard, NECF, all those guys are really strong. Vanticulti, Multicast. I've played all of those guys, so that's that's fun. Maybe I'll get them soon. Platyborg, my nemesis. This guy has been owning me lately. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this bullet video. I'll be back tomorrow with another one. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.